Uh, it's always a good idea to have a good toolkit with you with some spare parts and a few basic tools. And I'll run through these quickly. It's a combi spanner for tightening, tightening the chain and taking the, the, the bar off. Um, a file for filing the chain. Um, a depth gauge cleaner for cleaning out the bar. Um, a depth gauge tool for checking the depth gauges. A wire brush for cleaning the files. And a flat file for filing the, um, the gauges down and the bar. Also a small vise for knocking into the, uh, a log so you can stabilise the chain and the bar. Uh, and a small tuning screwdriver which is also useful for retuning and for cleaning the saw. Those are basic chainsaw tools for the field along with a good first aid kit. And uh, if in doubt, uh, always have a spare chain with you which is um, a, a quick solution to s s rather than s um, sharpening a saw. It's always a good idea to have the bar cover on. The, the chain is sharp, it protects the bar, it protects you, it protects your belongings, your ropes, your car or animals, anything like that. Always have the bar cover put on the bar and um, make sure it's a, a reasonably good fit. Uh, before you take the chainsaw out or start using it, give it a visual check over, make sure it's all working properly. The chain breaker is working, the on off switch is working, it's in good condition, uh, there's no cracks, all the the bolts on there, the chain catcher is on there. Just give it a good check over. Have some clean fuel, fuel it up. Always put the oil in first and then fill the petrol afterwards, making sure the fuel is clean. Uh, preferably use a funnel with a gauze in it and that will ensure you have clean fuel. And um, have the fueling station away from the operating area so there's no risk of um, fire. So you've, you've used the saw, you've started it, you've been in the woods and you've got it blunt. Uh, in the woods you can cut a tree and make a slot in it to stabilise the, the, the chain or you can knock in a vise and put that in a log. Here we have the luxury of a, of a vise. So we'll, we'll put the chain in the vise. Remember the chain will be sharp, even if you've blunted it you can harm yourself. So if you're going to touch the chain, wear gloves on the chain. Uh, on your hands to, to manoeuvre the chain or to, or to touch it. So we, we can now sort of lift the chain and move it and make sure it's moving freely. Uh, when you're filing you want a good clean file, nice and sharp, the, the correct depth gauge and the correct file. You look for the shortest tooth and sometimes you can find where the, t uh, the chain was joined with the two teeth are, are, are parallel, are the same. See if we can find them on this one. Okay, here it's here, the two teeth are the same. So that's a good starting point. You put the file in, you gauge up the, the angle, it's 30 degrees in this case. You get a good stance, you hold the file well, and you give it two or three strokes, depending on how severely damaged the, the chain is. And when, when filing, you have to be consistent. You give it the same amount of strokes on each, on each file. Turn it over, turn it round, get the next one on the same side, and just give it gentle strokes. You can feel the, um, the blade being taken off uh, on the file, if you can feel it. Occasionally you might want to clean the file, make sure it's nice and clean and rotate it by turning it, even out the wear and you get a nice sharp file and a nice sharp cutting action. Get the next tooth, same again, you glide through nice and firm with the right angle and you do that for the whole side of that chain and while we're on, the, on this side of the chain we're just going to check the depth gauges. They're, they're important that's the um, amount of cutting the chain will do. If the depth gauges are too high, the chain won't cut, so we need to check those by putting that over the chain with a flat file. If they need filing, they will protrude, and uh, you, you'll be able to sharpen them that way. And that's the same for each tooth has its own depth gauge. So you work all the way along one side of the bar, and when you've done that side, you rotate the bar and the chainsaw and you do the other side.
Okay, so we've looked at some basic maintenance on the chainsaw, but it's important to remember uh, chainsaws are very dangerous and you need the correct um, training. You can be properly trained, right safety equipment, all the uh, personal protective equipment, uh, and preferably working with somebody else who knows how to use a saw as well in the vicinity. And always ha do a risk assessment before you use the saw, so if there's an emergency, they know where to find you, the emergency services know where to find you, people can come and help. Uh, there are different training courses available at Plumpton College and other colleges and private assessors, but uh, it's definitely get trained and wear the safety equipment.